On this week's track feature, we're going to talk about one of the most important aspects of racing Supercross. It's getting a good start. And there's a lot that goes into getting a good start, right, Jim? Well, you know, you hear about it all the time. You know, Jeff Emig, you know, Fox Sports 1 broadcasts ourselves on Race Day Live. We always talk about how important it is to get a, a start in Supercross. And, you know, back in those days when I rode, we didn't have uh, such devices as a whole shot device. And it's kind of interesting nowadays because a lot of riders, you know, they'll set them up differently. If it's a tacky track, they want to collapse it maybe 140 millimeters down. If it's a, a hard, dry track, they'll want to put more weight on that rear end so it might only collapse 100. Or, it, you know, for the people who don't know millimeters, inches. You know, it's about an average of about a four inch collapse. And Adam Intignap, the man who runs that seven deuce deuce, was nice enough to come out here and, and just show us how this thing works. And, you know, a lot of people see the mechanics in the front of this thing. You got to remember, these are 50, 51 millimeter forks. This Supercross suspension is stiff, so it takes two people to engage that whole shot device. And we're going to take a look at it. Well, here's what we were talking about, Andy. There's a little button right here that you got to hold up when you collapse the forks, and that's what it catches on right there. And then when you go into that first turn and you grab that front brake and disengages it so you can make that turn. Adam, why don't you jump up on there and let's see how we can do this now. All right, on two, one. There it is. It's engaged now. So you can see the bike sitting at a little bit of an angle and Adam like you talked about you know depending on the track surfaces you know you you want to have it collapsed a little bit more for a, a, yeah, a tackier here, track here in St. Louis it's going to be really tacky so we're going to have it uh it, we're going to have it much deeper I'm going to have it set probably at 120 millimeters which is about uh four and a quarter inches down on my forks uh somewhere like San Diego it's going to be really dry so I'll have it up maybe like a hundred millimeters or about four inches to get a little bit more weight on that rear wheel luckily I'm a bigger guy so uh that helps a little bit with the whole shot and uh yeah, no, if we didn't have this like you guys are talking about, it's it's almost um, impossible to get the whole shot. These 450s are putting down so much power, and uh, it's just one of those things that's needed. All right, well, let's see it disengage now. So when you run it into that first turn, you grab a handful of front brake, boom, it, it's disengaged now. Any chance of that thing getting hung up? Um, yeah, actually, I've had it hang up uh, once before, but it was with a different type of whole shot device. Um, it gets a little sketchy. The front end's locked down, and uh, the forks are really, really stiff, and it doesn't handle quite right, especially with these big, steep jumps. It's, uh, it's one of those scary things that you just hope doesn't happen, and uh, thankfully for all our mechanics and uh, the Good Works Connection whole shot device, it's, uh, it's happened at perfect every single time this year. Now there's how the whole shot device works. All those guys are going to try to use that to get that $1,500 supercostlive.com check for getting the first guy around the first turn. There's a lot more to getting a whole shot than just a simple whole shot device. So join us next week. We're going to tell you more about it.